bug in bed, I guess. You can tell where my brain is at by how I've started this vlog, by calling myself a snug bug. But this week is, more specifically today, is whenever I really am starting my masters and the morning scaries are real in addition to me also not waking up this early since basically pre-pandemic, not quite, I'm not up very early. It's like nine and that's very early for me as you can see. Um, so I've been brought tea in bed and I'm gonna drink that and then crack on, but good morning. It's nice to have you here. Okay, not only am I on number two tea of the day, cheers, but I'm also serving some like academia realness. I automatically go to say dark academia, but I mean like you can see this, right? It's like pink and quite a bright red. The camera's making it look quite dark, but it is bright, I promise. So it's definitely not dark academia. Is bright academia a thing? Bright academia is the vibe I'm gonna channel going on in my degree, but okay. We're a third of the way ready for the outfit on, makeup will make it two thirds, and then we'll get to jewelry. And then, ready to face this masters. Cheers. Ta-da! Okay, with the makeup done, we are officially two thirds of the way ready. And don't get me wrong, makeup's fun, makeup's exciting. I'm glad it's all on my face right now. But the most exciting thing about putting together like a whole fit is choosing pieces of jewellery that just elevate it to another level. So this is where the lovely sponsor of this video, Ana Luisa, comes in. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I have loved Ana Luisa for the longest time, and not just because of their beautiful jewellery pieces, but it is a bonus, <laughs> but because of their sustainability mission. Sustainability is something that's super important to me, you all know, I don't shut up about it, and it's important to Ana Luisa as well. Ana Luisa are 100% carbon and water neutral, which means they offset all of their carbon and water emissions, which is just such a fantastic step to take for a real change. And also, all of their jewellery pieces are made out of recycled materials and recycled packaging. And I mean like, look at the packaging, like just look at that. I, <laughs> opening this felt like Christmas morning. The jewellery is incredible, but the unwrapping experience was fantastic and made even better knowing it's made out of recyclable and reusable materials, which I love. But okay, let's actually talk the pieces. I've been lucky enough to have been gifted three pieces by Ana Luisa, which I have on me all right now. I promise I haven't just been pointing at my ears for no reason. So we start first of all with these beautiful like huggy hoops. They have their gold with little pearls on it and oh man they're stunning. As I mentioned earlier I am just aggressively lazy and low maintenance and I want jewellery that can come with me everywhere. Like whether I'm in the lecture theatre or going to the gym. I hate having to like take jewellery on and off, it's just a little bit of a pee in. So, huggy hoops, they're the way forward for me and these are just perfect. They're beautiful, like the pearls, they are stunning and I promise you're gonna see these on me all the time. But okay, also, secondly and thirdly I guess, they're kind of like a pair, but we'll start with these beautiful hoops as well. These boys, they're sturdy like they feel so amazing they feel like sometimes jewelry doesn't feel sturdy but these are they are so well made out of these fantastic materials and i am completely obsessed but in addition to like being made really well what i really love about these pieces is that they're not like trendy that sounds like i'm insulting they fit into trends so well but they're gonna stick around for like ages you know they're not just for one season and then be done with it which is something i personally could never do i get too attached to my items so i can't love these anymore but okay finally we have this little ring and as you can see it's been the same as the earrings and look 
they oh if i show the earring it might be helpful they remind me of like little croissants and they're making me hungry right now even even just thinking about it but once again so sturdy so well made and look at it like look at that Wearing these together makes me feel so fancy, so I am totally ready to go start my masters and be a professional researcher with these fantastic pieces of jewellery. So thank you so much again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Their jewellery is amazing. I'm gushing about it so hard because I genuinely love it and I'm so passionate about it. Amusing materials, cheap prices, everything starts from $39, which is around £30. I did have to Google it because I'm not too good at maths. <laughs> so uh, I do them mods for you, don't worry. And if you use my code LOUISES10, you can get 10% off your order. Thank you, Ana Luisa, and thanks so much to you guys. I'm not gonna get too soppy, but it means the world that I can get to the stage where I'm able to do stuff like this. Starting my masters and sponsored content all in one week. Mwah, you're making my dreams come true. What a fantastic time for my SD cards to run out of storage. We got the ad done. Yay! But okay, masters, I have a ton of readings to do and I'm just kind of sitting in my house procrastinating, binging sex education in preparation of season three coming out on Friday. So I'm going to force myself to go and work in a coffee shop and get some readings done there because then I actually have to do them and I can't sit on my couch watching Netflix with yet again more cups of tea. So whoops, but now I am ready. Let's go. Let's get out this door. And do some more fun things than sitting in my bed. Happy Thursday. This is day two of this like first week of my master's vlog, but I don't actually know if I said what day it was yesterday. To Wednesday, obviously, if this is Thursday. But I kind of realized I haven't actually like talked about my master's and also why I'm not doing anything right now. I had great hopes for this vlog and I thought I was gonna be like fully in, I was gonna be like assimilated, doing a lot of work. Um I'm not. I'm not. I'm doing a Master's of Psychology by research, obviously, at um, the University of St Andrews. I'm, a, I'm basically like brand rep today. So, St Andrews, if you're watching this and you hire brand reps, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I love it and I'm so excited to dive into research. I've said that so many times, but I really am. But because I'm doing a research degree, I don't have classes. Like, as far as I know, I think I basically work on a research project, which I have like already. I already have a supervisor. We've spoken once briefly. So I'm going to be working with a lot of like doctoral students. I think I'm on a team with them doing their research. But as far as I know, while technically as of this week, term time and like Michaelmas, I feel so fancy being at a university that, you know, rather than like Queen's was just like term one and term two, this is like Michaelmas. I'm probably saying that so wrong, but it's spelled Michaelmas. Um, but Michaelmas term, the pre-Christmas term and like nothing's happened. I'm talking to friends and they're like, oh my God, are you finding these readings so intense? And I'm like, readings are all I have to do. I don't have lectures, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm working on kind of a tentative literature review until I can be told what to do. So. Apologies, I did think this vlog was going to be a lot more like work heavy and focused, but it's just me doing a lot of readings, but hopefully my lovely spawn content in it has made it a bit more interesting and worthwhile because I'm still so over the moon. But yeah, it's pretty uneventful. Today I've kind of decided that I'm not gonna do very much in the realm of uni. Probably should. I have like a few like admin things to do and general 
YouTube edity stuff, I have a full face of makeup on to film a video that by the time this one goes live you will have already seen. So I'm just kind of psyching myself up to film that and then go on my computer and do yet more emails because the emails don't stop. Is this what being an adult is? Constantly replying to emails and like cooking? I seem like I'm constantly cooking and emailing. <laughs> I'm going to go psych myself up to film admin stuff and I think later I might just sit and read. I haven't read in a long time and I'm like two or three books behind on my Goodreads challenge which I've been ahead of it for so long that it's struck my heart, it's actual pain to see that I'm behind. So I need to read a little bit that isn't university psychological journal readings. <laughs> I'm currently trying to pick up Piranesi by Susanna Clark as it's just won the Women's Prize, which is very cool. And I've been meaning to read it for a while. I picked it up on Kindle at 99p a while back. So video, admin, tea, because tea is an essential, and then reading. And I will update you later with some non-university reading talk. Great disservice to <laughs> go on, Orwell. Well, come at me. Fight. <laughs> Take that. It actually hit the lens this time. I just want to really apologize for hitting books. I love Orwell, really. I haven't read this. <laughs> but I advance love it, hopefully. Okay. Move over, Piranesi. After throwing it at my head, um, my cameraman has challenged me to speedrun Animal Farm. There are exactly, I'm not looking at spoilers, I'm just looking at the page number. Blah, 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 blah. 102 pages. I think I can get it done in under an hour. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> it's really funny that they actually fucking have a subscription to the Daily Murder. <laughs> Real pigs. Eight seconds left. <laughs> Eight seconds left. Under an hour. Barely. It's still under an hour. I'm pretty. I you well. read a book in under an hour. I've kind of been in a bit of a reading slump ever since finishing Betty by Tiffany McDaniel, which I actually don't think I talked about on any vlogs, but we're back. We've read a whole book. And I can now say I've read Orwell, which I previously haven't. This is this is my first. I always thought I would read 1984 first. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was, it almost felt like the literary version of like subtweeting someone. <laughs> you know, like taking very obvious the digs. It wasn't very subtle um, symbolism, but I don't think anybody expected it to be subtle symbolism but I I did enjoy it and I'm glad to say I've read Orwell so I might not have actually had any uni work to do but I've read a classic so I'm pretty content with this week as it is but man I'm so tired <laughs> catch you in the morning <laughs> good morning and happy Friday from my little car I haven't vlogged from here recently at all because I just haven't really left my house. It's a nice flat. I want to stay cozy, you know, but I'm forcing myself out. I'm going to St Andrews today. I am checking out the library for the first time because it's been it's been really scary. The postgrad library in St Andrews is incredible. It once was a church and it's been done now obviously into a postgrad library. Name it's what it says on the tin. Uh, like stained glass windows, absolutely stunning. My friends have sent me pictures and I am very excited to go. So, temporary plan is drive to St Andrews, get coffee, go to the library.
AirPods out and we're back. The day is over and I'm back in the car and going home. Yay! But today was so lovely. I just, I really love St Andrews. I'm gonna say it a hundred million thousand times more. It's so wonderful. And I'm just like looking around, like this is a car park for a random shitty university building and it's stunning. And everyone's so nice. I'm very happy, sorry, that's soppy. But I'm kind of panically looking around the car park again to make sure no one's watching me vlog because I'm still way too embarrassed for that. But yeah, I hope the vlog clips from today have been good. I obviously have not checked my phone or camera. Uh, the postgraduate library, stunning but so solemn and terrifying like it was silent and i was like okay there is absolutely no way in hell i'm getting my camera out for this i am just not these people are scary it's postgraduates only so as a master's student i'm probably like a little baby compared to like phd researchers and staff so no vlogs there but miss swift blessed us with wildest dreams taylor's version what i was listening to on the airpods before i got in here and it's it's amazing. So I'm about to queue up Wildest Dreams and Breadwinner and bop out the whole way home because I have to get home because my boyfriend's ordering pizza. By the time I arrive, people say love's not real when he orders veggie pizza to be here for the same time you're home. So I gotta stop talking to this camera and get on. Mwah. We are so far. Hello and good evening. It's obviously way later in the day. I came home, mwah, absolutely devoured that pizza as you saw. It was exquisite. It was... <sighs> Vegetarian pizzas, they're just the way forward. Like even whenever I was a meat eater, to the pizza packed full of veggies. It's just, it's just it really. But I kind of got a little bit carried away watching the new season of Sex Education because it's just come out today, like as this Friday. I don't actually know what date it is. I think it's the 17th, but as of today, Sex Education Season 3 is released. So I tried to update this vlog a little bit earlier, but I might have got carried away and already been on episode 3, maybe? <laughs> but yeah, this has been my first week actually doing uni work at the University of St Andrews and I can't quite believe it. And I can't quite believe you guys have all come along with me as well. It's incredible. So. Thank you for watching until this point. If you are watching until this point, I sure hope you are. And another huge thank you to the sponsors of this video, Anna Luisa. Thank you so much once again. And just a reminder to check the link in my description and use my discount code. And if you use it, please let me know what you got because I'm so intrigued. And honestly, I'm debating buying some more pieces for myself, so. These earrings, both sets of my earrings and wrong hand, my ring. I feel I'm addicted to these pieces already. I feel the rest of my evening's just gonna be really chill. I might put on a face mask and read a little bit to kind of prevent me going in a big Netflix binge. Mwah. Love you so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. Thanks Anna Louisa again and catch you next week. <laughs>